Farm Feed Issue 8 Going Back to Basics Discussing Mycotoxin Management Solutions The Yeast Cell Wall In this Back to Basics, we chat with Dr. Alexandros Yanikoris, Research Group Director at Altex Center for Animal Nutrigenomics and Applied Animal Nutrition. Question What is a yeast cell wall extract? A yeast cell wall extract can indeed be many different things. Applied to the mitigation approach that we have developed at Alltech, it defines a particular portion of an inactivated yeast. The yeast organism is a single-celled eukaryotic microorganism that is classified, due to its cellular organism and genetic content, as a higher organism. Interestingly, yeast, and in particular, Saccharomyces cerevisiae possesses a cell wall made of a complex network of glucomannan carbohydrates and proteins. This network assembly has been found, by scientific investigations, to be key to the interaction and potential binding of mycotoxins. The denomination yeast cell wall extract refers to the carbohydrate structures found in the inner cell wall portion of the yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Question. What is glucomannan? Glucomannan terminology refers to the overall cell wall composition of the yeast. For Saccharomyces cerevisiae, glucans form the inner portion of the cell wall in a lattice type of conformation, while manoproteins make up an outer layer, and the two are connected by glycophosphate dilinisetol anchors. The outer layer made of these heavily glycosylated manoproteins is involved in cell-cell recognition and limits wall porosity, chitin, another polymeric component found in the most inner layers of the cell wall, is very insoluble and further maintains the overall morphology of the yeast cell wall. Question. What are beta-D glucans? Beta-D glucans are formed by a polymer of glucose molecules. The way that those individual units of glucose are covalently linked to one another is responsible for the formation of two different types of glucan chains, 1,3 beta-D glucans and 1,6 beta-D glucans. The 1,3 beta-D glucans make up the core of the glucan chain, whereas the 1,6 beta-D glucans are the branched side chains that decorate the former. The 1,6 beta-D glucans are generally also involved in the connection to manoproteins and chitins. These beta-D glucans are first organized into single helical structures, then assembled into triple helixes, and finally further organized into fibers. The fibrous network consists of regions of alternating single helical and triple helical conformations, which provide structure for the yeast cell wall. This complex scaffold offers a large surface area for interaction with molecules present in the yeast's environment. Furthermore, research has shown that the yeast organism is able to change this cell wall composition and the proportion of its constituents according to needs, life cycle and environmental stresses. Question. How does yeast cell wall extract interact with mycotoxins? Through fundamental in vitro and in silico computational research strategies, we have learned that the carbohydrate fraction of the yeast cell wall is implicated in the sequestration of mycotoxins. Specifically, the complex dynamic structure formed by the beta D glucans provides binding sites of complementary geometry that interact with many different mycotoxins which are further stabilized in binding sites by multiple hydrogen and or van der Waals bonds. The kinetic of this particular interaction has been evaluated with many different toxins and is defined by an initiation phase followed by an acceleration of the binding rate until saturation of the binding sites. This phenomenon also accounts for the flexibility and dynamic properties of those chains that further change their conformations to allow more mycotoxins to be bound on their interaction site. 
the multiplicity of the non-covalent bonds formed allow the mycotoxins to maintain a strong interaction even in the physiological condition of the digestive tract of the animal, as verified experimentally. Question. Does the yeast cell wall extract interact with mycotoxins in the feed or the animal? And why? The interaction between yeast cell wall extract and mycotoxins is strongly dependent on the environment where the interaction is taking place. Contacts between the carbohydrate and the toxin are generally promoted by liquid or semi-liquid environment, such as the conditions found in the gastrointestinal tract. The intestinal tract plays a fundamental role in digestion, freeing up carbon sources, proteins, lipids, other macro and trace nutrients, and in turn, mycotoxins. Only in this liquid digester could a portion of the bioavailable mycotoxins then either penetrate the animal and exert toxic effects, interact with the microflora of the digestive tract, or interact with the yeast cell wall. The yeast cell wall, as demonstrated by several in vivo scientific works, will increase the number of toxins excreted in faeces. Question. Does pH influence the binding of mycotoxins to yeast cell wall extract? Because electrostatic interaction is involved, pH can play a role. A change in pH may alter the charge of the mycotoxin, as well as impact the number of bonds created with the yeast cell wall extract. The pH environment could also modify the spatial geometry of the single chains of beta-D-glucans, strengthening or weakening the interaction. However, in most cases, it has been found that the pH changes of the GIT are not strong enough to destabilize such interactions for most mycotoxins. The chemistry and number of charges on the mycotoxin are the discriminating factors into the strength of interaction with the yeast cell wall. Question. Does yeast cell wall interact with materials other than mycotoxins? The composition of the yeast cell wall is such that it does not interact with other components in the diet, such as vitamins, minerals, or antibiotics. Internal work established that sorption capabilities were very limited towards vitamins and trace elements due to a lack of compatibility between the molecular structures of those nutrients and the site of interaction on the beta-D glucans. The type of interaction necessary to the absorption process, the differences in chemistry with nutrients, the differences in concentration and bioavailability of nutrients, or because of the interaction balance. As a result, animal nutrition is not affected by the use of yeast cell wall extract. 